Hello, this is Jess, and this is a recap, um, day 316, November 10th, 2020. Um, it was a really nice day out. Um, started off good, and then it rained for about, I guess, 45 minutes or so. Nice little downpour, went sprinkling pretty quick, and then stopped. Sun came out. So, I was able to go back to mowing, because it didn't really wet everything down and so I was able to spend some time out there in the sun again it's just a lot of different things now that can be happening so I'm trying to give attention to a few of the details that need to get in put in place so um, mowing's part of that um, it's not high priority but it is something that when it's sunny to got an hour or two to take advantage of a couple of tanks, you know, running around. Um, other than that, we're in November. Um, anyway, yeah, it's, the, you know, the temperature was moderate, and it, uh, And for us, you know, with the rain and after the rain, it, <clears throat> it cooled down some, but then, you know, during the night, you know, the, the uh, temperature did drop. So we're getting in the 30s. But today, I mean, actually, sorry, um, being yesterday, um, just got a lot of work done uh, outside of, uh, you know, being indoors and stuff. Outside's a good thing to do when there's work that can be done out in the sun, so it was nice. Um, more turmoil and all the different people yelling about the fraud and the, of the election, and uh, it could only probably go worse from better than here, you know what I mean? It's going to be, right now it's still quiet on all the fronts, but people are getting more uh, vocal about it consistent of the cheating and the different things, which there's no evidence, no proof. Um, but again, when you don't look for truth and you don't look for facts, you miss exactly that. So if you're yelling about fraud, show the proof. Um, and some people say you don't have to have proof. Well, then how do you have an, you know, any kind of foundation to stand on and base, make baseless claims and expect everybody to react to them. Show proof. There's cheating, show proof. Um, voter fraud, show proof. Whatever realm it is, if you're going to say something, show proof, show facts. If not, think about it before you say you're just inciting um, futuristic violence, so. And that means the violence in the future, not like, you know, robots or nothing, but, you know, um, when you put out baseless claims, false claims um, it only incites the others to pick up the banner and run with it even though it's not true so think about that it's hard for some people I guess it's not so hard for others but get the facts don't be denying it if it's not good for what you believe look at the facts get the foundation of truth um, integrity you know, right and wrong. There is that such a thing. Um, it's it's up to every individual at this point to uh, exert the behavior that best suits wherever they're at in their life. I don't know. <clears throat> um, let it come as it may. But if you actually dig down inside, you'll see there is a truth, there is a base, there is a foundation to build from to correct people uh, that are speaking falsely and to, um, you know, present the truth. Some people die when they present truth, so I don't know, is it worth dying for at this point, you know, possibly if things get really crazy. The truth never changes, you know, live or death, I guess, it doesn't change, so people willing to die for their falsehoods, I don't know. It'd be sort of silly, but it's up to them. Everybody's an individual in this thing. 
And we have to either be together or be not together um, when it comes to uh, getting along in a society uh, and, and that. So, But it's up to everybody. This is Jess. I'm out. I hope you had a great Tuesday. Bye.